The deadly attacks in Plateau State and Wednesday's kidnapping in Zamfara State are coming on the heels of the Abuja Kaduna train attack in which over 160 people on board remain in the abductor's den. I want to share with you his memo to cancel. Ministers Mikosa. including that of Defense, Power and Science and Technology inform State House correspondents of the memos presented and approved by Council. But the topical issues at this briefing was the insecurity and power outages in the country. The Minister of Defense, when asked to give updates on the recent attacks on the Abuja Kaduna train, the demands of the attackers, their identity, as well as the killings in Kanam and Wase communities in Plateau State, barely 24 hours ago, had this to say. Honestly, I think the, the security chiefs are working hard to unveil those who are involved, and I will tell you very soon, the people that are carrying out these activities. All Joes and uh, Kaduna will come to inform the public what is really going on, and our efforts to ensure that all these activities are stopped once and for all. Preliminary reports of what transpired at, uh, the, at, uh, no, at the Kaduna train you know, attack shows that there's been a kind of uh, uh, you know, collaboration between the bandits and the, and, and the, dis, and the dislodged Boko Haram uh, you know, fighters from the Northeast. But overall, I can tell you very confidently that the very government is on top of this matter. Decisions by organizations to adjust business hours have emerged across major cities in the last few days as a result of erratic power supply. The country's repeated systems collapse have been attributed to several issues, but most recently, activities of vandals, raising questions about punitive measures for those culpable. You can call it a sabotage because how can somebody go and pull down a uh, 3.30 tower to cause this havoc the, to the whole country. What do you call that? So we need to also work together as a nation to support the leadership, to support the government to face these this challenges together. The administration is not short on assurances of securing citizens' lives and property. But with the reports of fresh school kidnap attacks in Zamfara State, the administration will have to contend with calls for it to do much more than promises and assurances.